Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Julie and I am a homeschooling mama of three kiddos. I have a fourth grader, a sixth grader, and a 12th grader this year. And this is our second year of homeschooling. And here on this channel, I mainly do share a homeschool journey, but also throw in things on motherhood, my faith, homemaking, all that good stuff. So I'd love it if you would join us and subscribe. I do also have an Instagram I post to daily. So I will put that handle below if you are interested in following along there. Today, I'm actually gonna do a review of all of our history curriculum for the year. We went with the good and the beautiful year one this year. Um, last year, I tried um, another curriculum separately for both of my two younger kiddos and it was very boring and just a lot of reading not a lot of interactive stuff um so i switched to the good and the beautiful because i heard you can do it with multiple multiple grades and i knew i would have a large um, gap and then um i also did it because there were like things that they could do um like games and interactive um where you some days you watch a video and some days you listen to an audio some days you color some days you um do other things so we really really loved it so we are going to be doing year two next year and i love um how they broke it up so um i will show you we got so you get this course book year one um course book you also get this big book of stories and this is compiled of like maps and beautiful stories i'll show you some of the maps in the back um so things like that and then along with that comes um the game so this is actually um i'll open it up and kind of show you um it's called the keys of history game and so you get a bunch of cards like this game pieces so there's some chips here there's a dice and then um different colored pawns and then you get a little game board so basically they can start wherever they want to on the board they roll it's timed so you're not playing the game forever and um and then it's basically trying to remember facts so on the back um you'll you can do one two or three depending on difficulty so we got through them all the whole year so um and you can have them be very competitive about it where they get their own points or you can have them work as a group and i just always gave them the choice so and they always want to work as a group so um they really really loved this game um and then like i said um this course book is broken into four different units which i loved because then you're you know you're not going through the same time period the whole year so the um units are unit one is ancient history unit two is the middle ages and the renaissance unit three is the french and indian war through the revolutionary war and then the last one is the victorian era the history of flight and the cold war era so like i said we're not um it looks like unit one was 14 lessons unit two was about 15 lessons so they really are broken um there's about 60 lessons um per school year so we did it twice a week um and it was tuesdays and thursdays so that way i knew we would for sure get through it um in no time because i wasn't sure kind of what our schedule was going to be if we we're going to do year round or if we we're going to do more traditional i just wasn't sure um and it turns out we're doing more traditional so i'm glad that we're fit we're finished in plenty of time um so like we started in august and we finished at the beginning of april or middle of April. So, um, so we have plenty of time. Another thing you can do is you can, um, you'll go on the website and you'll print out student explorers based on their grades. So I got these folders from Target and they have like, um, folders and then three hole punch. 
So, um, and like, so they have, I believe they have grades one through three, and then they have four through six. So my um, middle and my youngest had the same exact ones. And then they, my oldest, it was grades seven to nine, or I think 10 to 12. So I actually printed out her, my senior, because she was actually done with um, her history credit, but she always joined us. We did this at um, our group time, so she always joined us. So um, 10 to 12 had quite a few projects and things like that. So I printed out seven to nine because a lot of it was like papers or essays, and that was um, something she needed to work on. So I just did that um, for her. Uh, and like I said, it was just for fun. Um, whatever she learned in, in school, she quickly forgot. So this was like a good refresher um, because she did history, I wanna say grades 10 and 11. I, I, I could be wrong, but so basically they don't have a, um, something to do in these student explorers every day. Um, it's so like for this is lesson 37 and then four, it goes all the way to 44. So it's, um, it's sporadic. So it's not like um, they have something to do every day. And it's as simple as like color in the map or um, Egyptian hieroglyphics or something like that. It's very, um, I want to say the student explorer for my oldest part at the most took like 20 minutes. And then for my young, younger two took anywhere from, you know, five to 15 minutes, depending on how detailed they wanted to be. So, and they tell you exactly in the course book, okay, you're going to have your students do whatever lesson in their student explore. So um, it's very open and go. Like I could have, minus the game, obviously, I could have taken all of this and we could have done it out in the park one day. No problem. As long as I had, um, because there are some where you need to watch a video or an audio, as long as I had internet connection, um, they could watch that like on my phone or whatever. So we really, really enjoyed this unit. So um, there are, they do offer book packs um, to go along with it because they suggest a, um, a read aloud each unit um, based on the time period that they're doing. Um, some of the readers were hard for us to get through in terms of language and things like that. So really the only one we did was unit one. Um, but I have those books saved so that way um, because if they want to read those later on. But next year I'm going to actually pick my own because I thought it would be fun to pick my own um, readers and things like that. So that's like an optional thing. You don't have to even do um, a read aloud. If you're doing a lot of other read alouds or reading, you can opt out of that. So I so. just really love this um, curriculum because it was very easy to follow. And in our state, we don't have a requirement. So on, on elementary, um, in terms of what history they cover and things like that. So I just want them to have the information and to have fun um, doing history. So um, I highly recommend this, especially if you have a lot like multiple grades, it's great. Next thing is um, that we did for history this year was the good and the beautiful um, government um, and constitution. And I only did that with my oldest because I wasn't sure. It says it suggests grades four through eight. And I knew I would have to add a little bit more to it to beef it up for her half credit. But I wasn't sure my youngest in, is in fourth grade and he's a younger fourth grader. Like he, he was on, he's a summer birthday. So he could have been third or fourth. Um, and so I just didn't want it to be too much for him. So I thought I'll go through it with my oldest and see how we like it and see when I would want to incorporate it. Um, I definitely feel like he won't be ready probably until he's about in sixth grade for him to really absorb it and to, um, and to get something out of the unit um, because it is a lot of information. It's great information. I loved it. So, um, so I will probably plan on doing it when my 
son is in sixth grade and then my middle will be in eighth grade. So um, I definitely want them to go through this before they get to their government half credit for high school. So you basically get the student journal um, for each of your children and then you get this course book and then for the life of me I cannot find the book that goes along with it but it was a really um, cool book we listened to the audio of it you can read it aloud or you can listen to the audio and then you also put together like 3d buildings um, and she had messed some of them up so she didn't want she's like I, I can't find them anymore um, I think so um, but you do refer to this every day. Um, so there's like a timeline in there and, and all that good stuff. Um, and then like you listen to biographies. Um, so you fill in information like that in the student journal. And then obviously this is very much like all their other stuff and is open and go. You just read aloud. Um, and follow along. So there were, I believe there were 32 lessons in that. So we got through it in about, cause we did it three times a week. So we got through it very quickly because it was only for the, the second half of the year. And then I knew I would want to beef it up. So what we're doing, um, we're gonna like have a final um, test um, where that way she can, cause they suggest you, memorize the preamble and that's definitely something I want her to do so that's going to be on it and then just um, a bunch of questions based on that but also I had her do two research papers um, so one is on the constitution um, and just basically the history of it and all that and along I mean like a full-on research paper with your bibliography and all that good stuff and then um, because we had I got that book, what was the Constitution or whatever, um, off of Amazon. So she used that along with um, the internet to research for her research paper, along with obviously this course. And then um, I had her do a second, which she's actually working on right now because um, we're done at the end of this month. So she's going to be doing um, a research paper on the political parties. So I think it's important to know what each political party stands for and things like that. So, and she was interested in that. So she asked to really study that. So um, I suggested that that will be a research paper. So she's researching all that good stuff right now. There are so many parties, but I just basically said the important ones like Republican, Democrat, Independent, all that good stuff. So she's going to do that. And then the other um, thing I had um, to beef the, this up is that I would have her every time we listen to a biography, I want to say there was five to six bi biographies. Um, I would have her write an essay on that particular person. I didn't need all the history or anything like that, but just, you know, um, what did you learn that you may not have known because some of them weren't famous people like Thomas Jefferson and things like that, George Washington. Um, and then some were on people she may not have heard of, like Benjamin Banneker and things like that. So I had to write an essay on what was surprising about what she learned and then um, what she admired most and, and things like that. Just essays, um, nothing elaborate. But that was just something I wanted to beef up the um the unit i guess i would call it a unit so that's the stuff i really just did to like beef up the um unit study because that's really what it is um but i definitely feel like this is i mean you go through the whole constitution you go through all the amendments you go through um important people you go through the preamble, you go through, um, you know, the Declaration of the Independence, like you go through a lot of information. So I definitely felt like um, this was worth the half credit, um, but I wanted to make sure that she got a lot out of it as well. Um, and like I said, I really wanted to 
um, I wanted to see if it was even something I could do next year with my other two. And I do think I'm going to wait one more year, but it's really, really, really well put together. Um, and I definitely would consider this when we get to high school for my other two. So, um, if you guys have any questions or want me to flip through it a little bit more, I did a flip through on this um, at the beginning of, I believe, like around January. Um, so I will put the um, link to that video. But if you want me to go through any of the um, Good and Beautiful Year 1, I will definitely do that um, because I really love the way it's put together and all that and then um we will be doing year two so um a lot of my curriculum videos are coming out soon so um if you guys have any questions let me know but i would love to hear what you did for history this year um or if you've done these courses before and what you thought of them so other than that i'll see you in the next one real soon bye